So here I've got a smart power plus and uh, obviously some joker's been in here before and we can see that uh, yeah, this transistor doesn't even have a, a an insulating washer to the heat sink. It's, there's, there's been one there before but it's been removed. Um, and I can actually see some arcing on the, this uh, other transistor here. We'll take the heat sink clip off in a second and have a look at that. And if we look down uh, just below there, we can see this diode's blown. So uh, let's just quickly take that heat clip off and have a wee look there at what else is going on. So there we go. I've never seen anything like this without, you know, installing a transistor without a insulator. And, uh, you know, you can clearly see the, the damage that's happened here. And the same on this other channel. There's a big chunk out of the transistor there. So, and the other channel's the same, the other side's the same, so, um, let's, uh, let's just take a wider look at what's going on inside this thing. So what else do we see here then? Um, and the first thing, obviously, one of the fuses is gone, anyway, which is hardly a surprise when we see the mess of the output transistors. Um, the diode down there. I mean, the, the the curious thing here though is that these transistors don't like they look like they've been removed. You know, the soldering's all kind of factory there, so it's very puzzling how this uh, this has come about. Anyway, <clears throat> we'll uh, you know we'll get the board out and investigate what's going on there. I do see that in the voltage doubler section here, this capacitor's uh, beginning to go. Uh, it's got a domed head on it there, so that'll need to be looked at. Um, so before we rip the board out, we'll uh, let's just quickly power it up, see if there's any uh, any smoke for us, and then uh, we'll check the check the basic power supplies. Here we go. Uh, well, it appears to be completely dead, so I'm suspecting that the main fuse is gone. Let's have a look at that. So the new fuse in it, I suspect it's just going to blow again, like, but well, let's see what happens. Oh, we've got something. Um, so, minus four something volts, actually, it's dropping, so I can see what's happened as the fuse has blown. Uh, well, I can smell something. Hmm, interesting. Uh, suspect what's happened is the fuse is just blown, and um, you know, we've had a quick kick of power before it's died. Um, but let's see here. Yeah, that's gone. So, uh, so I've just disconnected the transformer from the board here and uh, you know I'm measuring uh, voltage on the output of that so the the main thing is the transformer's ok. Uh, I've, I've seen the primaries of these gone before and that's just a pain when you have to replace them. So uh, we'll get the board out and see what else we find. Here's the board then and absolutely no signs of soldering there on these transistors so they've never been replaced. Uh, but we look at look at this situation here. I mean, <laughs> this is unbelievable. Uh, you know, half. I just don't know what to make of that. This guy's got half a insulator there, not even half. And this one's got two. Uh, if I peel that away, I think that's the missing one from the other channel. Um, and we look at that, and uh, yeah, it's quite telling. Quite a chunk out of there and uh, same with this one, big burn mark on that transistor. Um, so let's, I suspect these will be gone, let's just do a basic uh, test on these uh, transistors here. Hmm, that's not healthy is it? are possible. Um, it's dead. 
Right, anyway, they're going to have to come out, so we've got two dead ones at least, and then two possibles, but I think the whole lot's going to get changed here, so um, I'm just going to... I used to desolder these, but, you know, the PCBs are not the best quality, um, not the highest quality, and when you try and uh, desolder these in one go, uh, you, you quite often just end up ripping the traces out, so I just... Uh, I just go in there and chop them out and then uh, I'll uh, uh, just pull these pins through, you know, heat up the joint and pull them out and that uh, gives the best chance of the uh, board remaining intact. So I'll take the rest of these out now and uh, see what that tells us. So I've got all the transistors out then and also the, the two capacitors for the voltage doubler, they were uh, gone and I measured them, there's absolutely nothing left in them so they had to come out. Uh, the diode came out and uh, this capacitor here, uh, some damage to that because of the diode gone so I've put a new one in there. I've left everything else out though right now, I've left these capacitors out and I've left the transistors out and the fuses are out because um, I want to be able to power up and uh, measure the basic supplies um, and make sure the main fuse doesn't go so you know we want to make sure that's all right so uh, we're set up to do that right now so let's power up and uh, you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna see anything on my plus or minus uh, 42 oh, that's interesting that's very interesting because there's no series capacitor there I need to look into that didn't expect to see anything there. There's maybe just some leakage. Uh, actually, I know what that is. There's a diode uh, across the capacitor, so uh, that will be given <coughs> initial charge there. So that's why I've got uh, these uh, voltages. So that's healthy, actually. That um, tells me that these supplies are okay. And when we put in the the actual uh, series capacitor, then that's uh, they should be fine. So that's good. Um, and then what else have we got? Minus 15 is good. Plus 15. And the 5 is alright. And then our main uh, main supplies are good. So that's that's uh, quite encouraging then. Um, so I suppose the next thing is I'll, I'll replace these capacitors and uh, that should, these, the um, what we're measuring there, 41.4. Expect that to jump up nearer sort of 43, 44 volts once we put the series capacitor in. So we'll verify that and then uh, uh, do one side of transistors. <coughs> right then, uh, capacitors are replaced so let's power up again and uh, we'll measure these uh, two uh, low current supplies. Right, so yeah, that's uh, that's fine. You can see it creeping up there. That's just the voltage doubler action uh, ramping up. So we're up nearly 43 and a half. That's quite healthy. And checking on the other supplies, about the same. So they're good. Quite happy with them. Uh, so I think the next thing is uh, we'll replace one set of transistors and. Uh, gently power up from there and see what happens. I meant to say that the transistors I took out, that there two, of them, two of them were okay. Two of them were completely short as we saw, but two of them were okay. Although they're kind of physically mangled and then there's the the sort of, uh, yeah, the, this kind of stuff here. So there, I mean I'm not going to use them, they're going in the bucket. They're just, uh, yeah, it's not worth it, so they'll go. But it was interesting that they were still alive, actually. Um, right, so I'll go and do one channel, come back, and we'll power that up and see what happens. So we've got a fresh set of transistors then, and so a uh, moment of truth then where we need to put some power on. So I'm looking at the bias on the orange DMM here, and then the blue ones just for probing. So let's uh, power up from the the mains there, that's fine, and uh, yeah, I've got a, an indicator on the front panel, so um, well, let's press the button and see what happens. That's good, 
few seconds later we get some bias and then that, that number's quite good, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Ah, right, that's our 47 uh, volts uh, main rail. Um, so yeah, just just over a volt a drop there, which is about right. Same there. So I think that's good to go. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the other side now. So that's both sets of transistors replaced uh, now. And uh, I went round and replaced all the dry capacitors as well um, at that time. So hopefully this is the last time that board will have to come out. Um, but let's just power up and we'll check that things are healthy on that uh, second channel. There we go, our bias is coming up. Our voltage 45.2, dropping a little bit as the bias goes up. That's just about right. It's quite happy. I mean, that, the bias changes dramatically as the thing warms up, so this is just fine as an initial indication. Um, so we'll, we'll replace the fuses now and let the thing settle and uh, set the bias, put the covers on. That should be as done. This is done then, covers are all in and I'm connected up to my passive preamp here and uh, so let's just power up and uh, play some music to see how we go.